Hey students, this is lesson 531. In this lesson, we're going to look at some special products where we're multiplying two binomials and they turn out in somewhat of a pattern that we can predict. Um, to help you see this first one, uh, what we're looking for is uh, a pattern when we have a situation where we have a plus b the quantity squared or a minus b the quantity squared. To see that, um, notice that when we have x plus 1 squared, you want to think of that as the quantity x plus 1 times quantity x plus 1. So then using the FOIL method, we get x squared plus uh, the outside are 1x and the inside are 1x. So we're going to add those together and we're going to get 2x. And then the last two, 1 times 1 is 1. This next one, x plus 2 times quantity x plus 2 is equal to x squared plus so we have 2x on the outside, 2x on the inside, that makes 4x plus, and then the last two are 2 times 2, which is 4. Uh, I'm just going to write down the answers to the next two so we can look for a pattern here. So we get that, and we get x squared plus 8x plus 16. Uh, pause right now and just see if you don't notice a pattern between the numbers that were multiplying there and the expanded form of that. Well, I hope you noticed that this number here is this number squared. This number here is this number squared. And this number here is twice this number. Actually, it's 8x, so it's twice. Uh, 8x is twice 4 times x. So if you take 3 times x times 2, you get 6x. 2 times x times 2, you get 4x. 1 times x times 2 gives you 2x. So I think we can generalize on that. And if we look at x plus 10 squared, remember that equals this, so you can always multiply it that way. But the shortcut we can do is we can square this x for the first term in the trinomial. We can square this term for the last term in the trinomial, so 10 squared. And to get the middle term, we can just take this x times this 10 and then double it. So 2 times 10 times x. Well, I'm just going to simplify that. So we get x squared plus 20x plus 100. And after you do this a while, you'll, you'll get to start to be able to do those in your head. So the generalized version of this is that if you have two numbers, a binomial, and you square that binomial, uh, the first term will be a squared. The last term will be b squared. And the middle term will be twice a times b. So let's go ahead and try that here on one of these. So um, the first term is going to be the m squared. The last term is going to be 9 squared. And the middle term is going to be 2 times m times 9 twice m times 9. So we get m squared plus 2 times 9 is 18m, and 9 squared is 81. All right, you should try b and c before moving on. So pause here if you like. All right, we're on the next page, and the next pattern we're going to look at is what, happen if, what happens if we're subtracting instead of adding. So we're going to look at this last, last few problems here. So m minus 9, let's go ahead and expand that. So we're thinking of it as m minus 9 times m minus 9. Using FOIL, the first two multiply together give us m squared. The middle term is going to be the outside 2. So negative 9m plus the inside 2 is negative 9m. Notice we have negative 9m twice again. Only instead of before we had positive, and now we have negative. So negative 18m, and then the last term is negative 9 times negative 9, which is negative 1. Um, the next two here, I'm just going to write down the answer. Uh, we get m squared minus 40m plus 
plus 400. And the last one, we get m squared minus 0.2m plus 1. So there's a pattern here. And let's just do one more problem so we can see that. Let's say we have uh, uh, 2x plus 7. Or we want a minus here. 2x minus 7. And we square that. Um, we're going to get 2x minus 7 times the quantity 2x minus 7. And that equals the first term is 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared. The outside, 2 give us negative 14x, and the inside 2 give us negative 14x. So combine those, we get negative 28x. And the last is negative 7 times negative 7, which is positive 49. So we can see that this number is this number squared. This 49 is the negative 7 squared, or 7 squared. And the 28 is 2x times 7, which is 14. 2x times negative 7 is negative 14 times 2 is negative 28. So the same pattern applies. It's just that instead of plus 2ab in the middle, we have minus. So the quantity a minus b squared is equal to a squared. And the last term is going to be b squared. And the middle term is going to be twice minus twice a times b. All right? So let's try one of those. Uh, let's go down to number, number 9 here. And we'll use these ideas, either this one, and that's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, or this one, a minus b is squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right, so this first one, we're going to want to use this since we're adding. So the first term is this squared, 3m, let's put that in parentheses, squared. The uh, last term is 2 squared. And the middle term is twice a times b. So that's twice 2 times 3m. And it's added. Twice 2 times 3m. And so simplifying that, we get 9m squared plus 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12m plus 4. Now this problem is a minus, so we're going to use this property. And I'm going to try and do that without writing it all out, but the first term is going to be 2x squared. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. The last term is going to be plus y squared. And the middle term is going to be twice 2x times y, and subtract it because it's a minus. Twice 2x is 4x times y is 4xy. All right, you can try, go ahead and try 11 and 12, if you like. And we'll talk about this more next time we meet in class.